Hi everyone, it's Mark from Brave Auto International in Japan. It's a Thursday afternoon, I'm at USS Nagoya doing what I do, which is checking cars. Okay, this is a um, 1996 High Ace long wheelbase high roof 3 litre turbo diesel van and it's for a customer in Canada. And this customer wants one to convert into a camper. Okay, um, now I'm not too sure whether they would want this one to convert into the camper. It just depends on um, what sort of, uh, how spiritual feelings they have, I suppose. It's probably the easiest way to put it for the moment. And I'll show you why in a second. Okay, um, around the body, it's grade 3.5. It's done 44,000 Ks. The Ks are genuine and there's a reason why, which I'll come to in a minute. Okay, you've got a bit of fading here on the door along here, here as well, okay, here, here, okay, this customer, and you got it there as well, this customer's not that worried about the body condition, obviously worried about rust, but not so much the paint, okay, it's a long wheelbase, because it's got this section here, okay, you got some, um, it's got a, obviously a transfer, it runs down there, and it's peeling off in some places, and you've got a small dent there, it's got steel wheels with hubcaps. Okay, across the front, she's okay. Uh, just a couple of stone chips been touched up just there. Okay, just getting the fading there, and it's had a patch paint work in here as well in that area. Okay, long hair is okay, as I can see. Okay, across the back's fine. Just got a bit of a um, nick there in the bumper and a larger nick there, okay? Uh, Grand Cabin G, three litre. Okay, you got the split slide windows on both sides, which is good. Good for camping anyway, I guess. Okay, door panel's good. You know, it's auto windows on the driver's side, manual on the uh, passengers. Okay, the seat's got hardly any wear. Okay, same here, it's not flat or anything. Here's your auction sheet, 3.5, 44Ks, not Christian, just blobs and bits and pieces around the body. Okay, uh, driver's airbag, you've got passenger's airbag as well. Okay, you've got electric close and open curtains, um, automatic with overdrive, you've got power mode, rear heater control. Okay, let's give it a couple of revs. It's actually really sweet in the motor, it's a nice, nice vehicle in the motor. Okay, you've got an aircon switch up there for the rear. Okay, you got the chrome um, door mirrors. Okay, door panel's good. You've got a large center storage box as well. You can climb over to get into the back if need be, which you would do when you're camping, I guess. Okay. Now there is a seat here, okay, um, which you can remove, okay, um, to turn into your camper or keep it or whatever. It, it reclines down. It's got seat belts. Okay, there's aircon or heater controls there, and the aircon controls are up here. Okay, you've got a large light on the roof there, and you've got another one down the back. Okay, you've got another seat here which you can obviously remove and you've got this stuff here um, which if you lift up this it's actually still got the carpet underneath I believe okay All right. actually you've got a scuff there on the edge of that lip there edge of the guard okay now the reason why you may not want this 
as a camper to sleep in at night by yourself, it's a funeral car. Okay? So that's where the coffin slides in there. Okay? And uh, yeah. So, um, like I say, you might not be alone when you're sleeping in here. Who knows? Okay, anyway, there's a cupboard there. I'm not um, spiritual or superstitious or anything anyway, so it wouldn't worry me. That would be out. All that would be gone. And I'll be building my camper. And this is the reason why it's only done 44,000 Ks. You know, normally from the funeral home to the uh, graveyard or whatever, is never that far. <laughs> okay. So anyway, but that's what it is. Okay, you've got a storage thing up there. That's probably where the flowers got put maybe, I don't know. Who knows? Okay, the struts are really good, holding it up by itself. So just pull it down. Creaks like a um, yeah, <laughs> a funeral car. Okay, the underbody's good. There's no um, you know, rust under there or anything like corrosion. Okay, now this it's hard to gauge what this is going to fetch. Um, it's either going to get normal money. It might be cheap because it's um, it could be haunted. You never know, or um, you know, some people just won't buy them because of being a funeral car. But like I say, it wouldn't worry me. Um, or it could go expensive because the next person who's buying it is going to use it to start a new business. You never know. <laughs> so anyway, okay. So that's lot number four one five three. That's Mark from Brave Auto International, Japan. And that is your 1996 Toyota High Ace Grand something or rather, three litre turbo diesel, long wheelbase, high roof, spiritual car. Okay, see you later.